Bonjour y'all, my name is Brita and today on Witches Unite I'm quickly going over the upcoming Wizarding Weekend event. This will be focused on the Hogwarts School family in your registry. Wizarding Weekend is the new monthly event in Harry Potter Wizards Unite that happens the last weekend of every month. For June, that will be Friday, June 26th until Monday, June 29th. It is starting and ending at 11 a.m. Pacific time as usual. Like I said, this will be about the Hogwarts School Registry and the boosted foundables uh, for the weekend. Sorry, I'm going to look at my screen because I didn't memorize them. Um, the boosted foundables for the weekend will be the Gryffindor student, the portrait of Albus Dumbledore, the portrait of Rowena Ravenclaw, uh, the sorting hat, and Minerva McGonagall herself. Of course, those boosts will all be on the map, but they will also be with a tonic for trace detection. As usual, there will be a free store gift featuring all of the ingredients you need to brew a single tonic for trace detection, as well as 50 spell energy. There will also be um, like a paid store pack. I uh, will break down the value of that um, elsewhere. <laughs> probably on Wizards Unite Hub, but generally speaking, the paid packs are not a great deal. So, there will be text overlay if it is a good deal. <laughs> like with most, most events in Wizards Unite, there will be tasks to complete and rewards to earn. I am also going to read these off of my computer, and there will also be a graphic on my screen courtesy of our favorite graphic artist, uh, Orange Wizard, and you can find his Instagram in the description down below. So, use two tonic for trace detection, earn 800 Hogwarts School Family XP, use 10 Hogwarts School Broomstones in Wizarding Challenges, return 15 portraits of Rowena Gr Ravenclaw, uh, return 10 sorting hats, and return Five Minerva McGonagall. So if you do all of that, of course you have your individual rewards, like usual, and then you have the overall completion rewards, which includes three spell books. For this particular event, there's not really a lot that you need to do to prepare in advance. I would say Brew up some tonic for trace detection so that you can use as many as you want during the weekend to take advantage of the boosted traces. You also might want to have a few dottle drafts for the Minerva McGonagall encounters, as well as some strong and potent simulo potions, again, for the Minerva McGonagall and the Sorting Hat traces, just to boost your chances of being able to return those foundables, maybe even place those images in your registry, and if you're really lucky, possibly even prestiging that page, depending on, of course, how you're doing with the other foundables in your Hogwarts school registry. If you are close to prestiging a page and you just need you know, like the Sorting Hat or Minerva McGonagall, but you're missing some of the, uh, the Wizarding Challenge exclusive fragments, then you might want to do some Wizarding Challenges in advance with the Hogwarts School Rune Stones. Of course, you'll have time during that weekend to do Wizarding Challenges with Hogwarts School Rune Stones, and that's one of the tasks that you need to do. So if you only need, like, a few fragments to proceed, you might as well just wait until the weekend. But there's no harm in, in getting an early start on collecting those foundables. All right, y'all, that's about all that I have for y'all today. You can also find this information at Wizards Unite Hub. There will be a link in the description down below. At the point of filming it, I don't know if I'm writing it or if Matt's writing it, so we'll see what happens with that. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up leave a comment, hit that subscribe button. I am so grateful to all of you who have been subscribed. Um, 
I just posted a video that I filmed an entire year ago, so that is up in the card below if you want to check it out. And I mentioned having 150 subscribers. So the fact that I have gained 600 subscribers over the last year, um, that really means a lot to me. You know, this, this channel isn't just about numbers. I didn't do all of this to, you know, feel popular or whatever. I just want to connect with the Harry Potter community, with the Wizards Unite community, and I see each of you as an important part of the community, not just, you know, a number to check off on my goals list. Of course, if you would like to help me with my goals, I would love to hit 800 subscribers by the end of June. So if you haven't subscribed yet, you know, um, I am one of only two Wizards Unite YouTubers who has an NDA, which means that I am really fast with the event information that you need to know. If, if you would like to know that information immediately with preparation and stuff, then I am one of two people who, <laughs> who gets that out right away, like as soon as we are legally allowed to share that. So I'm also like pink and fun and you know, I have a purple chandelier in my office and pink folders and stuff. I don't know. I mean, if you follow me because you like the color pink, like that's also totally fine. And now I'm rambling, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. Anyway, as always, thank y'all so much for watching. I truly appreciate your ongoing support of my channel. You know, if you want to buy Witches Unite merch, a link for that is in the description below. If you want to support Wizards Unite Hub on Patreon, you can also find that link. And Wizards Unite Hub has merch as well. So all sorts of options if you have a few extra dollars to spend on the Wizards Unite fun. But if not, that's totally cool. Your comments honestly mean a lot more to me than any dollar amount would. So your comments keep me going. <laughs> Thank you all who, who comment on all of my videos. You all know who you are. Um, yeah. So I'm excited for Wizarding Weekend. I am glad that you know, we have these sort of new events that are kind of different every month. And I'm definitely excited to get all of my sorting hats and all of my Minerva McGonagall's over the weekend. What about you? What are your thoughts? Are you excited for Wizarding Weekend? Tell me in the comments down below. <laughs> all right, that's all that I have for y'all today. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Au revoir, witches.